Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. We're talking about the the third thing that has surprised us about Vegas. But hey, just before we get started, so you know, we, we have an update video coming out soon just to give you info on all that's been going on. We've been seeing you guys' questions about work and the house and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. we're gonna give you an update video soon and answer all your questions and more. But we are, chilling right now in the car because it's super windy out we'll get to that in a minute <laughs> and i just got off work which is why i'm wearing this mr rogers thing i don't normally dress like this who it would? looks good on you yeah it's fine <laughs> but anyway this is the nerd me and as soon as we're done filming i'm gonna get into the cool me <laughs> anyway we're we got to shoot in the car because it's windy out but we wanted to talk to you about surprise number three here in vegas which is the traffic. traffic the traffic what did we have in our mind before we got here well so i came down like three times and drove from our house we're actually in the parking lot of our new community is that what we're calling it because uh, we're going to show some friends that are in town the model i drove from here to Jess's work, and I think I did it two or three times. It takes about 20 minutes, and every time I did it, the 215, which is one of the main highways here, just felt super easy. There was definitely cars on the road, but nothing crazy for a big city or what you would expect. So that's kind of what we have in mind. And then fast forward to now. Yeah, we kind of thought by the strip, it's probably gonna be busy and congested. Yeah. <clears throat> the 215, that runs kind of right by the strip would probably be congested. And then we figured this, the highways that kind of go around the outside of the city, the 215 mainly would be kind of just wide open and light traffic all the time. And that was based on her experience and the fact that there's a little more than, well, how many people here? Like 800,000, 700,000? I think it's right under seven. Not a huge population of people, and we just figured oh, it shouldn't be too bad. But we have since found out that it's crazy on the 215. Like, more times than not for us, morning, night, midday, all that, the 215, which obviously we travel the most between where we're staying and the gym and work. Ooh, you can put graphics up for all this stuff. Ooh. Man, this edit's going to be a lot of work for you. <laughs> Traveling that road the most, it's been really congested and pretty dicey from what we're used to. So back in Alaska, there's a highway out of the north end of town and a highway out of the south end of town. And basically, there are crazy drivers in Alaska, but everything moves at about 65, maybe 75 and under. And here, people on the highway basically cruise at like 85. <laughs> and Dad does that sometimes. I do on occasion, but it's legal to go with the flow of traffic from what I understand. Yeah. But when I was on the motorcycle, pretty much every time I went out on the bike, someone tried to run into me and it was just really sketchy riding. I would have to be looking in all directions at the same time while going 85 or some speed. And it, it was just, it felt like, oh my goodness, you know, we weren't really ready to I guess, get to that level of, well, I don't even know what I'm just trying to say. We weren't ready for that level of chaos on the road. Yeah. And even in the car, it's, so here's the thing that sticks in my mind the most. You're going to have to draw an image of this on the screen, but okay. follow my finger, right? You have the highway lanes. Well, I'm not going to draw it in the air. That would be stupid. <laughs> basically picture a four lane highway or something like that. And then you have an on-ramp that's, that's coming on from some road and quarter mile down the road, there's an off ramp. And what happens is all these cars like pour onto the highway, bumper to bumper. They're all going like 70 trying to get on. And their plan is to like get over to the left lanes as fast as they can. So they can keep going with the flow of traffic. And then you have all these people in the, like the middle lanes that want to get off on that next exit and they're bumper to bumper. And so you have this line of cars that's trying to like get on and then like do that within a quarter mile while the guys over there are doing 85. And what happens is the, the, the lanes over by the on-ramp off-ramp 
almost come to a stop in in some cases because it just gets too jammed up with people trying to cross and then everyone going 85 over there is preventing the people over here stuck from getting over because you'd have to go from like 10 to 85 within a few seconds you can't do it so unless it you just, have a tesla you could if you had a tesla but that's an example of something we see every day in mm -hmm. both directions and on the bike it was scary because you're trying to look back at traffic you don't know if that guy in front of you is going to have to slam on the brakes like any second and even in the car it's like it's quite a bit to uh, manage to, yeah just yeah and we knew i mean coming to a, a place that has over twice as many people and lots of, yeah just lots more people on the road we knew it was going to be kind of crazy but we just weren't expecting it to be as crazy FYI, it's 70 outside right now, which is awesome. It's too windy to be out there, but 70 outside means like 85 in the car and rising. Yeah, so we should hurry and finish. We don't want to turn on the AC. Traffic is, has been interesting. We hear about wrecks every day. A lot of people die here. I yeah. think it was four or 500 people last year. Basically, you got one or two people every day that die in traffic accidents. There's... That's been crazy. There's been like five motorcyclists like people on motorcycles that have died Yep. since we've been here, which is just like barely over a month. So I'm, I feel a okay about him not being on the bike and driving 40 minutes one way every day. So that's been a plus. Yeah. And then we see cops out there every day pulling people over. So they're, I think they're trying to help out. And we saw one today. You saw one today? Yeah. Yeah. They, we've kind of seen them ramped up the last two weeks because there was a huge wreck where like nine people died and this guy was going like 100 in a 35 and smashed into a family of seven in a van and all nine of them died yeah and then the first week we were here we were just chilling at a, a light oh, behind yeah. a couple cars and all of a sudden we hear like screeching behind us nothing you can do and this car comes pretty close to us and tries to turn right on on the at the intersection we were at going i don't know 60 miles an hour yeah. he turns right jumps the median comes within like half an inch of the car that was in the left turn lane of that road and then jumps back over the median and runs into a brick wall <laughs> and we're like nuts oh so yeah to sum it up <laughs> traffic is just very intense here yeah it moves faster it's a little more complex we're getting and used to it though. We're starting to get used to it. Uh, we have a cheer that we use to encourage Crystal to be aggressive. Oh. Be, be aggressive. aggressive. Be, be, be aggressive. aggressive. It's B-E be, aggressive. Whatever it is, it's my cheer, I'm doing it. Because you're, you're spelling B. <laughs> you gotta be aggressive just to get around. Which I am and not naturally an aggressive driver, but yeah, yeah. I've she gotten tends there. to be more reserved and chill, mm -hmm. but I think across the board no matter where you're driving the country you should try to be in the middle don't go too slow and cautious don't go too fast and crazy you got to just kind of go with the flow and it, everything works good but inevitably there's a mix of drivers everywhere you go and it just it yeah it's crazy so that's mm -hmm. surprise number three the the bonus one was the wind because we were yeah. going to film this outside really nice out there 70 degrees but you wouldn't be able to hear us with Can't the wind hear and wind is kind of the weather that vegas gets there's no rain here there's nothing else there's no clouds anything like that but there's wind so we yeah. get to deal with that it's not too bad but yeah. it's bad today it is lame when you're flying in here because it's usually pretty bumpy but mm -hmm. otherwise yeah it just stinks if you're trying to film a video outside all right i think that wraps up our surprise number three plus a bonus video we've got a couple more videos coming up that we filmed a few days ago and like Jess said, an update one where we uh, give you an update on our lot. And then we actually are going to show you guys the model home because we realized we didn't, we haven't filmed that yet. And yeah, so you get to see what the home looks like when it's finished along yeah. with their design and decoration and all that. And they do it top notch. So it's going to look really good in the model. We'll yeah. try to get there in our own home, but yeah, you'll get to see all the spaces and stuff mm -hmm. shall we turn on the ac yes please 
All right, hope you guys enjoyed this video and give us a like, comment, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you on the next one.